Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about using the universal gas laws. Now this universal gas laws is used, um, one of them is definitely used in chemistry, uh, however the one for PV equals N and KT is unique to physics and I'll explain why. So these two laws here, we have PV equals NRT and PV equals NKT. In this formula, this is the number of moles. This R represents the universal gas constant, which is 8.31 joules per kilogram per mole. This one, PV equals NKT, this big N is the number of molecules, and this K is the Boltzmann's constant of 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. Okay. Now, the reason we use both, it depends on the situation. Now, this one here, this PV equals NKT, well, the reason we like knowing how many molecules we have is because if we're working out things of leakages or we are looking at radioactive uh, reactions, we actually do want to know how many molecules there are in a system. And with this formula here, we can actually start looking at uh, the kinetic energy of those molecules and this is why it's called the Boltzmann's constant because a guy called Stefan Boltzmann started looking at kinetic energy of particles and how that related to temperature. Okay, so we're going to talk about that later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an example of how we use both of these. Um, I'm going to um, use it in both sense and we're going to prove it's the same answer. So I have got a pressure of 100 kilopascals in a volume of 1.2 meters cubed, and the, I don't know what temperature is, okay, but I do know that I have got 1.2 moles of CO2 in there, okay? And I'm gonna use both of these formula to prove that you could use either one to actually solve it. So first of all, I'm going to use the first one, because the reason we use the first one first, this one here, is because I've been given my information in moles. So let's put it in. I've got 100 times 10 to the 3. I'm going to use a red pen right there. So I've got 100 times 10 to the 3 times by 1.2 equals the number of moles I have, which is 1.2, times the gas constant of 8.31 times by my temperature. So... My temperature is going to be 100 times 10 to the 3 times by 1.2 over 1 1.2 times 8.31. Okay, so let's work out my temperature now. So 100 times 10 to the 3 times 1.2 divided by 1.2 uh, divided by 8.31. My temperature is going to be 12.033 Kelvin. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, so this is using the first one, I'm going to do the exactly same information, but I'm going to use this one here. Okay. So this is, I'm going to call this A. So this is with A. Okay, let's try it with B. Now the problem with B is that I need to know how many molecules I have got. And I know that one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms or molecules. Therefore, I know that 1.2 mole is 1.2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So that's 7.224 times 10 to the 23. And this value I can use in this formula here. So again, I know 100 times 10 to the 3 times by 1.2 equals 7.224 times 10 to the 23 times by Boltzmann's constant, which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 times by D. So T is going to equal 100 times 10 to the 3 times by 1.2 all over 7.22 times 4 times 10 to the 23 times by 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. So we're we'll going to put that in. So times by 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23. And I get an answer of 1, 2, 0, 3, 7, Kelvin. 
So, got a slight discrepancy there. But of course, this is to do with the significant figures of the numbers, the rounding, etc. Um, both ways are valid. So chemists, if you really, really want to, you can convert all of your number of molecules into PV equals NRT. You can use moles the whole time if you want. And then at the end, convert into molecules if you want to. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. But both values work. So that there is the universal gas law and how to use it. Thank <laughs> you.